hello YouTube. I figured that just make the second video a day after. I'm, I might make like one each day. Um, I'm currently making a catapult. I bought this like we have Timu. So I look shitty by the way. I, I did not shower and my clothes are disgusting and whatever the fuck. Does it really matter? No. I don't think so. But I bought this. I thought I was buying a slingshot from a web store <laughs> and I only got the the elastic bands and the rubber thingy. Which is actually a pretty good thing, but look there's this iron bulb in the middle and that is what will make the elastic stick in something but i did not get the thing itself so now i figured like i made a stick and i made a hole inside so i'm gonna make like one cavity here um, and put the bulbs in probably gonna use this one because this has the cavity of the size of the bulbs um then I was planning on like making these so thin that I can stick this on top of it. Because um, this this wood does not have like a soft inside. So I need something with a soft inside or I need to make a cavity on top. Like split cavity and then hang it on the back here. I'm not sure if that's going to work out. Um, so that's what I'm doing now and I figured just do the video in this way. It doesn't really matter. Woodworking is fun, um, but the, it's gonna be a short video or not. I don't know um, about the six pillars of self-esteem. It's a book you can buy. I think uh, Nathaniel Brandon writ written it, and um, yeah, it's just if you're really insecure about yourself and you don't really feel like you have a place to stand in and. People are walking over you, you don't dare to say no, um, you feel ugly, whatever whatever it is. Um, this is a really good book to read. Um, I personally think this book has, has, part in, has had part in my own divination and my own um, development in clairvoyance or being clairvoyant. Because... The book also explains a lot like deeper psychology on why people get um, insecure and mainly the whole book is written with uh, I should say uh less but okay does it does it matter do people get annoyed by uh 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 I personally think if you if that makes you annoyed, it says something about your personality or your insecurity, because we're talking about insecurity now. But okay, the six pillars of self-esteem. It says the the title says it itself. There are six pillars of self-esteem. I could not even name them by now because it's like such a long time ago. Mm, but he what I, what I noticed that he written. Uh, Topic, he, he writes in, in examples like, oh, imagine you're in a job and this is happening and this is happening and this person is saying to this to this to them. <laughs> I don't know. But he explains it in a way that you start that at some point you will start to see in your daily life how all the insecurities play out against one another. So it's like people are always insecure. Like if I think about my relationships I often was insecure and from my insecurities I went to being too controlling. Yeah, he just he just explains the book and the six pillars of self-esteem. So self-worth, self-this, self-love, self-discipline. So, I don't know, there's six self things. Um it I read written it like I read it. Maybe 10 years ago, six years ago, eight years ago. Um, it still helps me today. Like, basically, it's, it's just a book, like a lot of examples on insecurity, a lot of psychology and reverse psychology on insecurity. Um, and then there's this ending of the book in which there's a practice in which you write down stuff. And uh, I skipped it. <laughs> 
<laughs> probably the reason why I'm still a little bit insecure. Uh, but if you're dealing with insecurities, then it's a really good book to read. Um, yeah, it, it it is just I and other people call it a Bible uh, for for non-religious people. Um, and you don't have to be non-religious, but it's just it does. It's a Bible in in the way it projects insecurities of people and explains it. Because um, like the insecurity is also a. I believe that God doesn't like us to be insecure. Honestly, we need to be secure about ourselves and stand strong against evil. You feel me? But evil is everywhere, by the way. Sorry, I'm just finishing this little stick here. It keeps having like brown spots. I don't like the brown spots. But okay, so that was the, the six pillars of self-esteem. You can buy it very cheap, I think, like 20 euros or something. And honestly, it really fucking works. You will... Like, if, if I start talking about clair being clairvoyant and understanding what people think, I think if you want to learn that, the best thing you can do is start by reading The Six Pillars of Self-Esteem. But Because all social dynamics in humanity run on self-esteem. Like, or run on insecurities. And in the end, it's always a, a battle between... It, between two levels of security in people so like if i am with a girlfriend and she's very insecure or with a friend and he's very insecure and i am not he will start to feel you know if, you, if you're too secure for people they will start to feel uh not anger but they, they will feel opposite of you they will start to feel a friction between you two because the insecurities do not match and um, they also say like in this book and in, in general psychology they say like main the most relationships that really work are relationships in which self-esteem levels are on the same level so or almost at the same um, okay astrologers would say like oh it's about the charts but maybe God has put our self-worth and self-esteem maybe he written that in in the stars honestly um so yeah i believe that self secure people are they are self-secure and they are stronger in adversity one second yeah, okay, the brown stuff doesn't go away. Maybe if I do it like this. But yeah, just just I feel like everyone should be a little bit more secure about themselves and not attack each other for being secure, you know, because that's sad shit. That actually shows you're insecure. <laughs> mm, unnecessarily. Because mainly... Oh yeah, I was going to talk about loops, like... M the most people that are really insecure in the book, it will you will start if you read it, you will start to understand this. What I'm gonna say now, but the hardest people are never the most secure. Like sort of like it's like people that are really up in everything. They are actually pretty insecure. I am insecure as well, hmm. but not about my woodworking. No, okay. If I if I see how the Japanese people are woodworking, then I get insecure about my woodworking. But it doesn't really matter if it serves the purpose, right? Like if this catapult is gonna work, what do I care if it's, it's if it does not look professional? It's about the 
the ending result, the, the, the effect. And just like the effect that I want to create with these videos is that um, people start to become more secure and they will see all the that all social activity and all social behavior is in the end derived from insecurities from people. And I, I think even that people would not like this video because you're talking about insecurities and they might start to feel their own. Uh, yeah, that I cannot do anything about that. Just don't be insecure, people. What the fuck? For what? But it's also, if you start reading this book, it starts to... You, you will get a little bit annoyed and you will feel outcasted because... Um, because it really is a thing that people are really insecure in society and... Sometimes I just feel like we need to help each other a little bit with feeling less insecure, putting up safer environments. Um, yeah, in the end, we are all little children and we all would desire a safe environment. So, yeah, I don't know what to say more, but I think that that is really the, the case here that some people just find insecurity or their security something that they should fake and honestly let's be honest you guys will know that the the people that fake their security are, are often the saddest most insecure people in the world Why does this tip not form? It's always the ending of the stick is like it was thicker than the rest because it's like rip, rip, you get off. You will strike down, but then in the end you will turn the knife a little bit in which like the, the end is going to be like this. So now I'm just fixing the end and then I'm done. But yeah, just uh, figure out if you... If you want to be able to see where certain human behaviors are derived from. And if you start with insecurity, you will see a lot of it. Oh my god. Like everybody is insecure and everybody is scared to lose things that they love and lose their sort of sanity. Everybody has that, I think. Now I'm rounding this out, because there's like edges everywhere, but I want it nice and round. Okay, I think this is good enough. This looks like a proper catapult, right? Okay, <laughs> look at the mess. <laughs> and I have a cat here, and the cats are literally, this, this wood is not good for cats, so I need to close the door and clean the house okay so this was the video i uh, hope you like it think about your own security and think about that that really important part is looks don't matter like the most insecure people are very fucking hot and the most ugly people are very fucking secure about themselves often it also goes the other way around but just just know that it's all show and tell and not real. Like me, how secure I am. I'm insecure as well, but I'm getting there. I'm getting stronger in my security. I'm getting stronger in my boundaries. Which often, often if you have proper boundaries, people will sense you have a certain amount of security. And... That certain amount of security, that it will it will drip off of you. It's like it's being secure is drip. Fuck drip. <laughs> Look, I have got coffee and a hole in my sweater and stuff like that. So fuck drip. Be secure.
because it will drip off and you got that real drip, baby. Peace.